Hey dudes. Today I want to talk about two different ways you can enable or disable automation in Pro Tools. So let's jump right into it. All right, so the first method is going to be directly in the plugin or the insert that you add. So let's go seven band EQ. If you look right here where it says auto, there is plugin automation enable. So if I were to click that, you will see that I get this plugin automation window. And right now, all of these automatable options within the plugin are on the remove or left side, meaning all of these have been removed from the ability of having automation. So you could do something as simple as like, oh, I want just this particular function to be added. And you'll see that I just click on whatever I want to be added and I hit add and it moves it into the right column, which means that is now automatable. Or you can also command A or shift and click to the desired amount you want. So in this case, this is everything possible, add. Now it is all on the right side or the automatable side of the plugin. I can hit OK. And you'll notice now that lights appear in all the different automatable functions. And additionally, if I go up to touch automation, for example, on my track itself, you'll see that the lights turn again to red, like they are going to be able to be touch automated, whereas the green light will be for read, for example. So the lights mean different things, but there you go. If you just have one plugin in particular and you wanna know if it's automatable or not, or you want to add or subtract any automation, you can simply just remove to get rid of or add to add, and then double check, of course, that you are in some kind of automation mode like touch automation. Otherwise, in read mode, you would not be able to automate anything anyways. The second method will be going into the settings or preferences window and going over to the mixing tab under Pro Tools preferences and then simply going down to this automation window or section here and clicking plugin controls default to auto enabled. So now, once that is set, if I, let's say, close this, and I'll just add another EQ, which might be silly to have two EQs on one track. But now if I go to automation, you'll see that it automatically has put everything to automatable. So you have that option just as a general preference. So I can even add like a compressor limiter, for example, click on the auto window and you'll see that any new plugin that I add at this point will be able to be automated. Simple as that. All right, that's it. So if you are moving on the fly and you are changing different plugin parameters to be automatable, or you want one particular plugin like a meter or something like that to not be automatable and just to have it pass through, you can go to the plugin window itself, find that little auto button, click it, and then add or remove any or all parameters. Otherwise, you can just go to the preference window and change this permanently so any new plugin you have either is auto-enabled or not. Simple as that. All right, I hope this helps you out and gets your session all set up nice and neat the way that you want it. Until next time, later dudes.